4D Pumpkin Cat Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys! In today's video I have my second black cat design of this year and this one is going to be a pumpkin cat that has a little cat that is hiding inside a pumpkin and then pops out. I hope you guys like this video as much as I do and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. I am going to begin with an overlay of purple acrylic and so the reason I went with purple for this design is that I wanted my the backgrounds for my three cats to all be different and so I wanted to have one that was orange, one that was purple, one that was green because those seem to just be the most classic Halloween colors that there are and this one really had to be the purple one because you won't want an orange background with an orange pumpkin and with the pumpkin he also adds a little stem on the top and I wanted that to show up so I won't want to have a green or an orange background because it wouldn't show off the details as well so this one had to be purple after I have the purple layer in the background I'm going to encase the nail with a layer of clear acrylic to make sure it is nice and strong and then file it into shape with my e-file starting out with a fairly coarse bit to remove any bulk and then after that I'm going to switch to a much finer bit just to go over the whole thing and smooth it out and make sure it's easier to work on top of. Even though there really isn't that much work that's happening on top of it, it's still just a nice little habit. So I'm going to create the two little sides for my pumpkin with some orange acrylic and this you could do now or later, whatever you like, but it's nice just to have a little platform for that pumpkin to sit on to make sure that there's plenty of space for your cat to go inside of after he is made. And so after you have that done, just keep building them up a couple different layers with orange acrylic if you have some otherwise clear acrylic is fine you can always cover it up later so that's you know food for thought and after you have that done then i'm going to make my little pumpkin base so i'm actually going to take a eyedropper this is from an essential oil and i'm going to be painting the top of it with a rough pumpkin shape and some clear builder or actually it's pink some pink builder gel but the color doesn't really matter that's irrelevant but just try to kind of get a basic pumpkin shape out of it. If you can't, you know, it's kind of weird to work on top of, that's fine. After that's cured, I'm going to cleanse it with some uh, nail cleanser solution and a little towel and pop that off the eyedropper and then glue your little rough pumpkin shape to that little platform that you made on the nail. So just put some nail glue on and then hold that in place until the glue sets. For me, that takes two or three tries just because that's how life is with nail glue and me. And I eventually decided it was easier to just put glue on one side and hold one side in place and then glue the other side. Like I said, three tries is what it took. So there, just hold that until it starts to set. After that sets up, it's sometimes nail glue sets so fast and sometimes it takes forever. And it seems like if you're holding something, trying to be still, the nail glue takes an eternity to glue. And if you can't pick up what you're trying to glue, it's glue before you get there or it's dry before you get there. So anyways, after you have that down, like I said, your little platforms on the side wouldn't have had to be done with orange before, because at this point I'm going to be taking orange acrylic and I'm going to be covering up my little pumpkin base with some orange to make sure that it looks extra pumpkin-y. And if your ori um, original shape of your pumpkin wasn't perfect when you're making it with the builder gel, you can go through and with the orange acrylic now you can fix it up and make it a little bit a little smoother, a little bit more bumpy looking if you want as far as like the, the top and the bottom of it go. So there's the first two sides and then add the middle section and try to leave little crevices between the three sections of the pumpkin and make it look like it actually has the different ridges that a pumpkin has. Just like so. And after you have that third one done, then you're going to want to fill in underneath your pumpkin with some of that orange acrylic, leaving one small opening for where the wire is going to go through that your cat is attached to. So just kind of fill in so that the cat can't follow the bottom of the pumpkin. And then on a nail form backing, I'm going to be sculpting my kitty cat with black acrylic. So you don't have to do an entire cat. So you want to do a head and then just basically like a long neck or shoulders. You don't have to worry about sculpting in the legs or the hands or paws, whatever you want to call them, and a tail. Just do kind of your basic cat shape. So I've got the head and then I have that little, like I said, neck and shoulders area at her ears. Right like so. And then after you have that done, I'm going to take and I'm going to add a little pumpkin top on it. So I'm going to use some orange acrylic to add just a little, kind of like a hat on my cat. And then add a tiny little green stem. After that, I'm going to take in more nail glue, of course. I'm going to glue a piece of wire to the back of my little kitty cat. And then I'm going to secure that with just a little bit of clear acrylic to make it so that my cat doesn't isn't so brittle or isn't so breakable. And then you can slide the wire through your pumpkin in the nail so that the cat is sitting right on the top and then glue a bead to the bottom so that it doesn't come out. 
And then your cat is attached in there. And then I'm going to take some acrylic paint and add the details to both my pumpkin and my kitty cat. So I'm going to paint a jack-o'-lantern style face on my pumpkin, two triangle eyes, and then a nice little smile. I want it to be a toothy smile, so my favorite way of painting a toothy smile, and this is definitely something that I would say takes practice, but I like to outline where the teeth are going to be first and then kind of connect the dots and fill in around the teeth. Like I said, it's that is something that, as goofy as it sounds, is probably the most difficult part about this design for me is to paint that little toothy smile because you're leaving certain areas blank and that's just kind of something that you have to really think out if you're me at least I'm going to add a couple little outlines on my pumpkin's ridges and then on the little pumpkin hat on my cat and then since you can't really do any black outlines on a black cat I'm going to switch to white and I'm going to be adding a couple little white outlines first starting with a little line in each ear and then with light pink I'm going to be adding the nose then going back to my white, I'm going to be adding the little lips of my cat. Oh, I'll do that in a second. Uh, but I'm going to take some green then and add the nice, bright, bright, vibrant eyes on my kitty cat. Just like so. Add the little white lips to your kitty there. And then I'm going to take some more black paint or white paint. And I'm going to be adding whiskers. And then I'll take more black paint and add the pupils of my cat. I want to make sure that... They have that classic little straight pupil that makes some cats look very, very spooky. Just like that. I'm going to be applying some gel sealer over the background. And then after that's cured, apply matte top coat over your cat. And then a 3D glaze over the pumpkin. And that is it. This is the second video in this quick little Halloween cat series. The first one was going to be the witch cat. And then tomorrow I will be uploading my skeleton cat. So if you missed any of these, check back. And I will put links to any past Halloween cat videos in the description box below as well. I am a cat fiend, so I am always making cat designs. And here is a Melody Minutes. Are you putting that in your hair? Ooh, it looks nice. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Melody decided to go bowling for her daddy's birthday, so that was her first bowling experience, and she loved it. Please share recreations with me on Facebook or Instagram, and I'll see you in my next video.